If we go in the browser, refresh, type in an address, select the item, here we go, all the fields are auto-completed. Here I have an address field group component that uses multiple V models. I made a video about this a while back, but if you haven't watched it, the gist of it is, you can set up multiple V models using V model column and then the name of the model prop. In our case, we have street, street number, postcode, city, and country. Inside the address field group component, we accept all the props, we use them to set the field values, and then we also add an input event listener that emits the new value whenever it changes. The event name follows the update column prop name convention. In this case, we have city. We also have one for country, postcode, street number, and street. Now, what I want to do is, I want to make this address field group component use the Google Maps API to allow the user to search for a street address, and then, if possible, autocomplete all the remaining fields. The first thing we need to do is load the Google Maps API script. We could load the script directly in our address field group component by using a composable we created a while back, but some people might not have seen that video, so I'll just go inside my index.html file and paste the script in. Make sure to use your own API key for this. Now, inside our address field group component, we need to make a new instance of Google Maps Autocomplete, but to do that, we'll need a reference to the street input element. So I'll add the setup method, and inside it, we'll create a new template ref called street ref. Let's expose it, and also make sure to import the ref function from view, copy it, and set the street input ref attribute to street ref. Next, to create our autocomplete instance, I'll go inside setup and do const autocomplete equals new google.maps.places.autocomplete. We'll pass the street ref value as the first argument, and as a second argument, we'll have an object with a types key that will be an array containing address, and then a fields key that will be an array containing address components. The types array specifies the type of results we want back. This can be something like an address, an establishment like restaurants, museums, things like that, or cities and regions. In our case, we need addresses. The fields array are the details we want the results to include. The more details you ask Google for, the more it costs, so it's best to be specific and only ask for what you need. In our case, we only need the address components. Now if I open the console tab, we see we get an error saying not an instance of HTML input element. The reason for this is that when setup runs, the component is not yet mounted, so the street ref is not available. We'll need to wrap this into an unmounted hook, so we'll do unmounted, and then paste that in. Now if I refresh, we no longer get the error. And of course, the street autocomplete is working. Now, whenever the user picks an address or presses the enter key, a place changed event is triggered. We can listen to that event and ask the autocomplete instance for the selected place. So we can do something like Google Maps event add listener and here we'll need to pass the instance of autocomplete, then the name of the event, which is place changed, and our function. In here, we can do console.log, autocomplete, get place. If I go in the browser and look for an address, select it, what we get back is an object with an address components array where each item is of a specific type. We have types like street number, route, locality, political, and so on. I've already looked over the Google Maps API documentation and come up with the following types we need to use. We have street underscore number for our street number model. We have route for our street model, locality for city, postal code for postcode, and country has the same name. Now let's turn this into a mapping object where the key is the type Google returns 
and the value is the name of the event we need to emit in order to update the model value. So we'll have const mapping equals object, where the key is the type Google returns, and the value is update colon street number. And we'll do the same for the others. We'll have route for street. We'll have locality for city. Postal code for postcode. And country for country. Next up, let's loop through the place address components array. We'll do autocomplete, get place, address components for each component. And here we can loop through the types array. We'll do component types for each type. And now we need to emit the corresponding event. But to do that, we'll need access to our context object. This object gets passed as second argument to the setup function. The first one is props, the second one is context. Let's grab it. And then here we can do if mapping has own property type, then context emit mapping of type. So if the type we receive is street number, we'll emit the update street number event. If the type is route, we'll emit the update street event, and so on. Then for the value, we can do component dot long name, this property right here. If we go in the browser, refresh, type in an address, select the item, here we go, all the fields are auto-completed. However, if I type in some gibberish and then hit enter, we get an error saying cannot read properties of undefined reading for each. That's because we no longer get an address components key. So when we attempt to loop through it, it breaks. To fix it, we can create a place variable and set a default. We can do let place equals object address components set it to an empty array, and then try to override it using autocomplete get place. This way, if get place doesn't have an address components, we'll set a default to an empty array. Then here we can do place, address components for each, and so on. Let's refresh, type in some gibberish, hit enter, and we no longer receive the error. Finally, we should reset the fields before updating them. Because if, for example, I type in large tran 4, select this item, and then I change my mind and type in Amsterdam, some fields are changed, while others, like the number and postcode, remain the same. It has the value from the previous address. So let's make sure we reset the fields before updating them. So right here, we'll do for const field in mapping and we'll do context emit mapping of field and we'll set this to an empty string or let's replace this with type just so it's consistent with this one right here I'll refresh type in large tram for it autocompletes then Amsterdam and the fields are reset while these two are updated. Another thing we should do is make sure we remove the event listener when the component is unmounted. To do that, we'll need to turn this const autocomplete into a let variable, so we'll do let autocomplete and move it outside the onMounted hook, so we'll do it here. Then inside the onUnmounted hook, we'll do Google maps event clear instance listeners for the autocomplete but we'll only do that if autocomplete is defined now if i go in the browser and refresh type in the address everything is still working let's go through everything one more time we create a template ref for the street input 
inside the unmounted hook, we create a new instance of Google Maps Autocomplete. We then add a listener for the place changed event. When that event is fired, we use this mapping where the key represents the address component type we receive from Google, while the value represents the event we should emit in order to update the corresponding model. Now, before we do anything, we reset the model values by emitting an update event with an empty string. Then we loop through the place address components and emit the correct field values. Finally, on the unmounted hook, if we have an autocomplete instance, we make sure to clear all the event listeners. And that's it. That's how you create a Google Maps autocomplete address field group component using Vue.js and the Google Maps JavaScript API. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.